Today, I'm going to try and replicate my teeth in golden bronze metal. Now, the sponsor for today's video, Lifen, they're a fan of all things teeth, so they wanted us to see how well we could use their toothbrush on our project. To begin making this whole copy of my teeth in metal, I need to start by taking a mold of my teeth. But there is a step before that. I'm going to use the toothbrush for its intended use because I don't want little bits of food stuck in the mold. That'd be gross. The Life in toothbrush has a better range of motion and more power than most electric toothbrushes, so it does a better job of cleaning all the little nooks and crannies, even under resistance. The brush head movement has a 60 degree oscillation, which is great for the dentist recommended bass brushing technique. It cleans a wider area, achieving three times higher cleaning efficiency. It also has fairly small brush heads and very fine bristles that make it easier to clean deeper into the crevices of your teeth. I think I got the spinach. Is it is that gone? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> All right, now that my teeth are nice and clean, it's time to take a mold. Got this weird squishy silicone stuff. I'm gonna mix these two together and then bite down on it in a tray. Mmm, good time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, three minutes. Five minutes later. All right, this is set. Oh. Ooh. All right, there we go. It's lovely. This turned out really well, so I'm very glad I've got a nice, just a perfect negative copy of my upper teeth. Now I needed to do is turn that back into a positive, and I'm gonna use wax to do that because the casting method we're gonna use is lost wax casting. I am going to try and remove the whole mold from the plastic bracket because wax is not the strongest casting substance, and I don't wanna break the wax version getting it out. I think if I have a little bit more flexibility, that'll be easier. Okay. I think that worked quite nicely. I've got some nice jewelry wax, which I should be able to melt down in this pan. I added the foil onto it so I can give myself a little bit of a pour spout. It should work pretty good. And then the nice thing about this wax is it's really easy to like carve and touch up with tools after the fact if anything goes wrong with the mold. This is the exciting part, watching wax melt. The wax is looking nice and melted. I am going to use a heat gun on the mold so that the wax like flows a little bit better. This wax is just a little bit like sticky. It's more syrupy than like runny water or anything like that. So I think that should help get all of the detail. Okay, I'm going to attempt a pour. Okay, now we have to let that cool all the way down. All right, nice and cooled. I think we can now demold this and uh, check out how my wax teeth are looking. There we go, look at that. All right, we have a few little gaps. You can see uh, my tooth is missing a little spot right there. That one too, little air bubbles that formed in the wax. But overall, this is looking really good. So I am gonna do some cleanup work. Just make sure everything is all fixed up. I've got some nice little tools here for that. I've got my wax, it's still just a little bit warm. Overall, I'm very happy with how this is looking. cleaned up and looking pretty good. However, now there's little bits of wax stuck in between the teeth and I think I've got the perfect tool to get that out. The Life & Toothbrush comes with multiple attachments like this extra soft bristle brush, which is really great for your gums and for fragile teeth that are made out of wax. With the wax teeth all cast and tinkered with and cleaned up, it is time to attach them to this base. Now this is what we're going to fill plaster on for the actual casting pan. So I need to mount the teeth on there at just the right angle that it all fits within the casting cylinder, but it also needs to have good flow for all of the molten bronze. So I'm going to try and attach it kind of like this. Currently I have a lot more on this stem than I need, so I'm gonna slice that off. Yeah. 
So now that our wax teeth are all finished, we have to mix up enough plaster that we can add this vacuum flask over it and cover everything in wax with plaster. So I'm just gonna mix that up and pour it on in. Now we try to suck all the air bubbles out of here. Mmm, looks like pancake mix. This is just the tiniest bit of soapy water to help reduce surface tension. And once more, we're gonna pull a vacuum on it just to try and get out some more air bubbles. Now we need to let this cure. It involves a lot of careful and intensive waiting. It's plaster. Go. One hour later. So I burned all the wax out of the plaster mold. It's actually back in the oven now to warm up in preparation for the casting. This fun machine does a lot of different things and one of them is melting the metal. So under this lid, I've got a crucible, which is electronically heated and I'm going to use it to melt my bronze. Okay, that is pouring some vacuum. of the teeth look fantastic. Those look great. Now this casting is looking great and I need to do a lot of cleanup work. I need to cut off all the extra metal and start cleaning it with grinding tools and sanding tools. But before I do that, I gotta get all that extra plaster out from you know all the spots between the teeth. And you know what? I think I have a tool that will do a pretty good job at getting stuff out from between some teeth. Let's see how it does. Personally, I have used electric toothbrushes with more gaps and less of a seamless design than this one. And those little nooks and crannies tend to get really gross and they can be growth points for bacteria and mold. The seamless design of the body and brush heads on the Life and Toothbrush help keep it and your mouth cleaner. All the sprues are gone, it's looking good. It just, it looks like a set of teeth right now. It just looks like the world's grossest, dirtiest, most stained set of teeth. And it's got little bits of metal sticking out in places that it shouldn't. Now, this brush is pretty great. It works well, and the interchangeable heads have multiple different uses. Those uses don't include sanding metal, unless you got some extra heads and modified one, so it is good for sanding metal. This now has some sandpaper on it, and I'm going to use this powerful vibrating action to actually sand the bronze that my teeth are made of. The app for this toothbrush is actually really useful. It lets you control things like how far the brush head oscillates, how intense the vibration is, and how fast the brush head moves back and forth. And it'll actually learn your brushing habits as you keep using it.
My modified sanding attachment for the toothbrush actually worked surprisingly well for getting into all the little nooks and crannies. I know it's meant to do that when it's cleaning, but you know, sanding is not really its primary purpose, but it did a great job. Now I am going to use this to help with the polishing a little bit, but that's gonna be like the detail work. I gotta take this to a more industrial polishing machine to really bring out the shine of these teeth. buffer worked well but it couldn't get into quite all of the nooks and crannies so I'm just going to do a little bit of touch up here. <laughs> and my new golden teeth are complete. This, not, not gold, they are bronze but you know I was thinking I would want to call my you know a set of pearly whites but they're not that either. They're like the golden bronzes? Bronzy goldens? Ah, whatever. They look really good. I'm very happy with how they turned out. And honestly, this toothbrush was a super useful tool for this. It, of course, not only did a great job of cleaning the teeth-shaped object, but it did a really good job getting in there and sanding a lot of those detail spots. So very pleased with how they turned out. Very pleased with how much help I got out of the life and toothbrush. And uh, yeah, I, I like my new set of chompers, or half set of chompers. All right, I gotta test this. How's it look? Huh? Distinguished? Really, really good? Well, fitting that inside of my mouth when I still have my actual teeth doesn't work so great. Again, not a grill, just a copy of my teeth. So while the brush did a great job with the sanding and the polishing and the cleaning, it's not really meant for that. And I've really kind of ruined this particular brush head, but that's not really a big problem because these replacement brush heads are really affordable. It's like $9.99 for a three pack replacement set. Of course, replacing the brush head is as easy as pulling off the old one and popping on the new one. Good to go. I've been very impressed with the Life & Toothbrush. If you're looking to upgrade your dental hygiene game, this is kind of like a spa day for your teeth every day. Try it for yourself. I really think you'll be pleased. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.